Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. In today's DIYs guys, I'm going to be showing you how to transform two wooden high chair that I have at home into something very nice and comfortable for my kids because they are the one who use them to reach the dining table so might as well make them so comfortable for them because <laughs> those chairs are so hard if you sit on them for more than one minute your butt starts to hurt. So guys, I hope you stay safe. Let's go ahead and jump into that tutorial right now. Now, so those uh, this is the chair that I'm gonna be using I have a pair of them but I'm showing you the DIY for one and then we uh, first thing we're gonna be doing guys is like using some metallic rose gold spray paint and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint just the legs for it and um, I'm just using what I have at home again guys most of the store are completely closed so it's hard for us to go outside and try to even buy stuff so I'm um, just using what I have now because of the back of the chair the way it's made you you have like those little four bars and then you have like holes in between so I had to go ahead and cut like a piece of uh, cardboard from the for the front and the back because I want to have like a smooth surface to uh, lay my foam you know onto it so I want to glue those in into the back and the front of the back chair so now for the seat part itself I'm, I want it to be really nice and soft and cushiony so I'm gonna go ahead and double my foam when I add it to the seat part so basically I went and glue um, my uh, a piece of foam first to uh, the seat part and then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing and add another piece of foam to that foam <laughs> so and also once we finish with doing that this is what it looks like and then for the back of the chair I'm gonna just go ahead and use one piece of foam we don't need it to be like super you know cushiony it's cushiony enough um, for that way and but the one thing that I did I flipped the foam you know to go over the top of the chair to the back because I want to have a very nice round and soft you know top of the chair um, like this so I went in um, staple on the rest of the foam on the back just like so and this is what it looks like now to make the tufting part because of the way the the back of the chair is made with those four low bars we don't have a, a lot of option so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do like uh, two big diamond tufting and making sure that you know each one of the button is uh, full exactly where I have the wood part of the you know the low bars so this is what my little tufting gonna be looking like it's like 10 centimeter uh, across and 19 centimeter uh, from up and down so after we finish marking our, our diamond tufting I went and flipped the chair over and removed the seat part of the chair you know from the chair itself that way it'll be a lot lot easier for us to just go ahead and, and add the fabric to it so place the um, the seat part of the chair on top of my fabric and this is the fabric I'm gonna be using It's very pretty very soft I absolutely love it and it's, it actually goes with uh, my dining table because of all the colors that I have on it so the one thing that uh, you have to make sure if you're doing anything like this guys is make sure that you don't cover the holes where the, you have to screw the seat part of the chair back so I went in doing that after that now for the frame part of the chair we're gonna be using the same fabric but without any foam on it we're just gonna go ahead and measure cut low piece and then we're gonna hot glue it you know to the frame just like so and then once we finish we're gonna go ahead and attach you know the seat part to the chair again by you know using the screw and make sure it's nice and tight and it's not gonna move now as you can see you don't need to have add foam to it because it's gonna be uh, a lot harder if you add foam to it this is the look I was gonna look for but if you do anything like this and you want to add foam just go ahead and do it God. I'm just doing this for fun I'm just doing this for my kid in this time that you can go out to you know to do anything Thing. every store is closed I'm just using what I have at home and and on that note guys I hope that you all being safe and you staying safe at home and being very careful you know and try to distract yourself with you know entertainment and be happy and don't be so frustrated you know I know it can be really hard <sighs> yeah 
<laughs> so after I finish adding the seed part to the chair, now we're going to go ahead and cut, you know, the part that we have to add a um, button. Um, we're going to make the holes. And then we once we finish doing that, we're going to go ahead and add a fabric. And I've done tough thing many, many times on this channel before. So I'm not going to bore you with that, guys. So, you know, the way it's, it's done, put your fabric, make sure it's nice and, you know, tight, like, you know, lay out really nice and flat. And then find the holes. And you can start in either way, guys. Top, bottom, you know, whatever way it's uh, comfortable for you this is how you start me i started at the bottom this time and um, this time around because that was the part that was com more comfortable for me to start there is no rhyme or reason why you start you know from top or bottom so once i finish um uh, uh um stippling the the diamond tufting i went and make sure that you're gonna pull your fabric really tight so you can you know staple it on the back and as you can see i'm just just doing a little plate right right there uh on the side of a diamond uh just just to make it nice and tight uh, at the um when you pull it to staple it at the bottom um at the back um we it can be really nice looking so for the corners i'm just gonna go ahead and fold it over like this again just make sure you pull it really tight like your fabric and then when you you know staple it, it you don't have any loose fabric looking you know <laughs> all messy and stuff so after i finish you know staple my uh fabric to the back i went and cut the excess and also removed the excess of the foam that was left on the back because we don't need all that foam now to cover the back all you have to do is take the same fabric flip it over with the right side down and then you're gonna go ahead and use your staple gun and then I went and do like a, a row of staple gun trying to stay like like a straight line as possible and making the staple close to each other and once you flip it back down it's gonna be looking nice and neat like this so you don't have to worry about that that you can use this this is one met method that you can use but there's plenty of other method that you use now for the side of the fabric i went and cut you know low excess making sure it's not that much fabric left and then you're gonna fold it on um, to itself and then you're gonna go ahead I, i'm just using hot glue and i'm gonna glue the um, both sides like so on, um into uh, the back so it's gonna be nice and neat on the back so you don't have to worry about it. it's very easy the way you make it of course i wanted to use like another type of button to make it because those are very clear and it's it doesn't really show much on the fabric because the way the fabric is looking but unfortunately i couldn't go out and buy anything so i'm just using what i have so after i finish adding my four you know buttons to each one of the diamond tufting this is what it's gonna be looking like now for uh, to make the um the legs of the chair now you know that little square of the front of the chair i just went and cut on uh, this uh, the same fabric and then add it to the top now to make it more stylish and give it a little more bling because it was looking more like eh so <laughs> I went and added uh, a little piece of rose gold uh, bling wrap to um, to it, and it looks really nice on top of the the fabric because for some reason the the fabric, even though it have like a a lot of color in it, it's more like a nautical feel, um, but it looks really nice with the, with the rose gold. So I went and added that to it, and also I cut like. Um, uh nine of, i can't i can't remember if it's a nine or ten uh row of uh of bling wrap but i added to um this part of the chair right there and then to complete making sure like it's almost like a, a continuous from the top all the way down to the that part of the chair and then we're gonna go ahead and continue um the the uh, bling wrap on the front of the leg of the chair uh, but i'm gonna leave like a space between uh, the top part and the bottom part you're gonna see me leave just a little piece right there you see that little space i left i left it for a reason because i'm gonna be adding uh the rose gold uh, mosaic top mirror mosaic towel on on this part just to complete to complete this part and make it look more like popping out more you know give it a little bit more bling out looking look so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the the front part of the chair by adding more rose gold uh bling wrap to it but we're not gonna go all the way down we're gonna go ahead just a little bit past the horizontal uh, bar that's uh, connect the two uh, legs together so uh but we're gonna go ahead and add the rose gold bling wrap 
you know all around the chair so all the four side of the the um, the leg of the chair we're gonna add the rose gold just pass it that way and then for the horizontal part in, um, bar in the middle we're gonna go ahead and wrap it also in the same rose gold so that's what we're gonna be doing for um, just the front part of the chair I don't want to add a bunch of rose gold um, bling wrap to the leg itself I just wanted to do that from the just for the uh, front part of the legs that's it now for the um, back of the um, the back legs all I'm, be do I'm gonna be doing because we have you know the fabric uh, like giving you know a little bit more like rough edges like on this part that I'm adding the rose gold and those are just like five row I'm just gonna go ahead and add one at the front part where the frame uh, of the chair the seat part of the frame of the chair start and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same um, thing also another five row at the at the um, the bottom part of the seat exactly right there and this is the only thing we're gonna do for the back part now the only uh, the other thing we're gonna do for the part, back part because of the way the fabric uh, come down to the back you have that little flap um, opening because I want I wanted the fabric to show you know that uh, if when you're looking at it and uh, from the front you can see the fabric from the uh, from the front and but we have that flap so I went and added like uh, take like three strips of uh, the same gold wrap and then glue the fabric you know to the chair like this so that way it's not f you know flapping around and moving around so much it's gonna be nice and looking like this so this is what I was talking about for the front part of the chair I went where I left those uh, that lower gap um, in between the bling wrap and added the um, the mirror mosaic tile in, in that part right there and after we finish uh, we finish that's all we're gonna be doing for the chair guys it's very simple very easy to make it's nothing much to it so and it's nice and comfortable and my kids love it so it's a plus so this is what it's gonna be looking like now after we finish adding the you know the uh, mirror mosaic tile at the gap um, from the front part of the chair so I went also add one row at the very uh, bottom where the bling wrap is done like uh, right at the bottom where we have that horizontal bar so we add just one row of mirror mosaic tile just to give it a finished look and then of course I went in spray paint carefully respray paint uh, the part of the chair that is showing some because we were we were having like uh, some part that didn't have like uh, um, showing the white part of the chair it, I guess it didn't I didn't spray paint it the right way but after that we went and spray painted it again just the part that is showing being really careful not to you know stain the fabric or the the bling wrap so I went and finished doing that and that's it this that's it guys this is an easy DIY guys again I don't have a lot of fabric left I have the sum uh, from the mail so I'm still waiting for them to come you know because of all the things that's going up everything is like taken more more time to come if you're lucky to find like places that still ship for you so that's one thing so be um you know i'll be making more uh diys hopefully so i'll get i'll have those things in the next few days so hopefully guys i will be making more diys so hopefully this thing's gonna be over soon hopefully i'm i'm praying for that i hope you guys are staying safe and again guys please 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 be safe and don't stress out too much you know again like like everything you know this still shall pass so don't worry about too much you know be careful as long as you stay at home be careful and don't stress yourself out too much find, find ways to distract yourself watch my videos <laughs> So there we go guys. So this is um don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Don't forget to go ahead and hit the notification bell, like this video and share it if you like. Give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Leave me a comment. And as always guys, I'll see you soon next week or by the end of this week. We'll we'll try to find other stuff to make for you guys. I love you so 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 much. And as always, guys, be safe, be blessed, and stay blessed and stay safe. I love you. I'll see you next week. Mwah. Bye.